Good morning, Renew. Thank you for joining us here for our Monday morning Renew. And I have my little helper, Maylee, with me today. You want to say hi, Maylee? Hi. And today's Renew is entitled God's Everlasting Love. And it's found out of Psalm 100 and verse number 5. Maylee, can you say Psalm 100 verse 5? Psalm 100 verse 5. Psalm 100 verse 5, and this is what it says. It says, For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Today's devotional, again, God's everlasting love. Oh, you got a little sneeze in there, huh? Yeah, you do. Maylee, what is on your hat? A heart. A heart. Yep, yeah, there it is up there, huh? And what does a heart typically represent? Love. Love, yes. And you know what we're going to talk about today? God's love and how much he loves us, okay? All right, why don't you sit over there and at the end you can help us help us pray. Today's Renew says this, nobody loves us like God loves us. In fact, God says, many of you are familiar with the verse in Jeremiah 31 and verse number three, it talks about how he's loved us and he loves us with an everlasting love, this love that is unfailing, and, and that's what he says draws us unto him. I want to encourage you to look up Jeremiah 31, verse 3 today. No matter how much people love each other, that love will always fail in some way. For example, I love my kids dearly, but there's going to be times that I'm going to fail them. I love my wife, uh, but there's going to be times that I'm going to fail her. But the Bible says that God has an everlasting and an unfailing love for each and every one of us. God even says that his love, as we read there in Jeremiah, his love draws us unto him. I want to give you today two aspects of God's love. Number one is this, God's love is unconditional. God's love doesn't say, I love you if. That's conditional. Conditional love says things like, I love you if you'll love me. I love you if you please me. I love you if you're looking good. That's not real love. What happens when someone loses their good looks? What happens when you find someone else more interesting? Do you just stop loving them? That kind of love is a conditional love. But God's love for us says, I love you, period. I love you, even though you don't always love me. Even though you're not always consistent and you don't always do the right things. Many times I say God doesn't always love what we do and decisions we make, but he still loves us and that is a conditional unconditional love the second aspect of god's love is this it's consistent it's not fickle it's not petty it's not unpredictable you know some people maybe have grown up with inconsistent parents inconsistent parents can create insecure children there was a man that once said, I never knew if my dad was going to slug me or hug me. He was un unpredictable. That is inconsistent love. But with God, we never have to ask, will God love me today? His love that we read in our scripture in Psalm 100 verse 5 is everlasting. It is eternal. What good news that that is. No matter what you've done, who you've done it with, or how long how long you've done it. Again, God doesn't always love what we do, but he still loves us. God's love for you will last forever. What a just an encouraging word today. I hope that you'll remember that this morning and throughout your day. Maylee, come up. You want to help pray with us here before we close? All right, here we go. All right, you want to pray for us today and just yeah. thank God for loving us? Okay, go ahead. Let's pray. God, thank you for the day. Amen. Thank you, God, for loving us. You want to say bye to everybody, Maylee? Hope all of you have a good rest of your Monday and uh, just continue to remember God's everlasting love for us.